If you wanna gain mass, you need more calories. And like it or not, getting a lot of them from powder isn't actually that big a deal and really can be helpful to helping you achieve your goals, as long as you use them the right way. This is Nick at barben.com, and today I'm talking about the seven best mass gainers on the market. They're right here, here they are, there's no surprises here. But if you wanna know which one is like the best all natural one, which is the best whole food based one, which has the most carbohydrates and a few other categories, stick around, I'm gonna make you an expert in mass gainers. Now believe me, I get that a lot of people are worried about mass gainers. It just seems like you can't get a thousand calories from powder and that be at all healthy for you, right? Well, the uncomfortable truth is that as much as it is easy to say being healthy is all about eating certain foods, actually when it comes to gaining weight and losing weight, it's really all about calories and macronutrients. And provided you're getting the right amount of calories and the right ratio of macronutrients for your body type and your goals and your activity levels, it's pretty fine to get a bunch of those calories to come from powder, but there are a few things you need to keep in mind. The first is you need to keep an eye on your micronutrients, like your vitamins, your minerals, also your fiber, your omega-3 fatty acids, all these other components of nutrition that are very important for athletics and recovery and things like that, that go beyond just calories and macronutrients. The other thing you really need to keep in mind is that a lot of people just don't actually know how many calories they require and how many calories they should eat to gain the kind of muscle they want. Most people, unless you're enhanced, pretty hard to gain any more than 0.2 to 0.5 pounds of muscle per week. That's something you wanna aim for. And a lot of people just eat a bunch of mass gainers to try and get as much mass as they can. And a lot of it winds up being fat. So those are a few things you really need to keep in mind. Put in the hard work to find out what your actual calorie requirements are. That takes a lot of trial and error, but it's work that is very, very useful. And keep an eye on your micronutrients as well. As long as you're doing all that, mass gainers can be pretty useful. Okay, so I wanna start with Transparent Labs Mass Scan. I'm a big fan of this brand, a big fan of this product. I use it a lot myself personally. It has 740 calories per serving. So you're gonna get 53 grams of protein, 109 grams of carbohydrates, with eight grams of fiber and 15 grams of sugar, and 12 grams of fat. There are a few things worth emphasizing here. First, this is a one to two ratio of protein to carbohydrates. And this has a lot more fat and fiber than you typically see in these sorts of products. And it's pretty low in sugar as well. This is actually an all natural product. I'm not saying artificial ingredients are necessarily bad for you, but certainly a lot of people try to minimize them in their diet. And while this does not have the most vitamins and minerals of any mass gainer on this list, I'm gonna get into that one a little bit later on, this still has a lot of interesting ingredients that a lot of people look for in their health supplements. So like the whey, unlike most whey, comes from grass-fed cows from New Zealand. The carbs come largely from organic tapioca maltodextrin. And there's other stuff in here as well, like coconut milk powder, there's some medium chain triglycerides, there's Vita fiber, there's three grams of creatine monohydrate as well. So this ingredients list, while it does not have the most vitamins and minerals of any mass gainer I've tried, it still has an interesting ingredients list and it's a lot more robust and well-rounded than a lot of the other mass gainers on the market that are typically just like whey plus maltodextrin. Now, if you're really into that whole foods angle, Legion Atlas is really a phenomenal product. I really, really like this one as well. So this has a ratio of like one to 1.3 protein to carbs. So in one serving of this, you're gonna get 38 grams of protein and 51 grams of carbohydrates with two grams of fiber and six grams of fat. Now, the main issue with this product, per serving, it's not actually that high in calories. It's like 370 calories. However, there's a bunch to talk about here. There's a lot of vitamins and minerals in here, like way more than Transparent Labs. Really, really useful. It's got some iron, it's got some magnesium, it's got some zinc, it's got all this sort of stuff, super important. It's also got probiotic bacteria and digestive enzymes. And those have been linked to a wide range of benefits, including increased nutrient absorption, which can be especially tricky when you're just consuming a ton of calories that the body might have some difficulty digesting. But also a lot of the carbohydrates and a lot of the other ingredients do come from different sources than you typically see in mass gains. Again, the market is full of just whey and maltodextrin. I'm not necessarily saying that's bad, but this has a lot of carbohydrates from potato starch and oat flour. There's some flaxseed in here. And there's also a blend of whey and casein. So it's like a slower digestion rate, which might be important for some folks. So there's really a lot of interesting stuff going on in this ingredients list. Very whole food based. I won't say 100% whole foods, but it is like very whole food based. A lot of vitamins and minerals. The main downsides, not that high in calories. And also it's pretty expensive at about 85 cents per 100 calories. Now you can't talk about the best whey-based supplements without at least taking a look at what Optimum Nutrition has on offer. This is Serious Mass, and they also have another product called Pro Mass, 
but I went with serious mass because it is pretty nutritious. It's got a ton of vitamins and minerals in here. Most of them are at least 100% of the recommended daily intake. You've got your vitamin D, chromium, manganese, molybdenum, a whole suite of them. So that's a pretty interesting addition. As far as the macronutrients go, you're gonna get 1,250 calories per serving, 50 grams of protein, 252 grams of carbohydrates with just four grams of fiber, four and a half grams of fat, 20 grams of sugar. Some complaints some people might have, I mean, the first ingredient is maltodextrin, like this is very high in maltodextrin. It's got those vitamins and minerals though, but still it's a one to five ratio of protein to carbs, which for some people is just like too many carbohydrates. That's a pretty individual thing. It depends on your own diet and how you like to structure your macros. But I still think this is a pretty interesting option in the industry, especially because it is very inexpensive at just 30 cents per 100 calories. So I think it could have a place in the diet for some athletes. Now, if you spent much time in online bodybuilding forums, you'll hear a lot of people say, why would you bother getting a mask in and we can just stay at home and make oatmeal shakes? That's kind of what Muscle Feast has done here. This is just whole oat powder and hear me out, oats are actually a really good food for putting on mass. The ratio of protein to carbohydrates is one to four, which is like a pretty muscle friendly macro split. In 450 calories of this, you're gonna get 21 grams of protein, 81 grams of carbohydrates and about 12 grams of fat and 12 grams of fiber. And what a lot of people don't know is that oats are actually a really high quality form of protein. They're very rich in essential amino acids, like has a more complete amino acid profile than rice protein, which is way more popular for some reason. And of course they're jam packed with like healthful vitamins and minerals, phytonutrients. There's a certain type of carbohydrate in there called beta glucans, which are pretty closely linked with improved immunity, lower risk of heart disease, all this sort of stuff, all the stuff you know to be helpful about oats. That in this product, there are a few downsides though. All that fiber can make it a little bit filling, although I find it very easy to slam 500 calories with this, no problem. Also, it's pretty bland. This is just oats. And you may be able to find oat flour for cheaper somewhere else. Nonetheless, I'm a big fan of the Muscle Feast brand. And at 25 cents per 100 calories, this is still one of the cheapest I've seen. Now, maybe you're wary of artificial ingredients or soy or gums or anti-caking agents or even just conventionally raised dairy. If that sounds like you, Naked Nutrition's Less Naked Mass could be a pretty interesting option. This company is very well known for their rigid adherence to what they consider naturally made whey. So it's made without acids, without bleach, without growth hormone. And so in addition to that, this is gonna have organic tapioca maltodextrin, that whey protein concentrate, micellar casein blend, coconut sugar and cacao powder. That's it. It's a very, very short ingredients list. This is definitely the sort of product that's going to appeal to people who want what they might consider a more natural or like more clean approach to nutrition. I know those words are kind of loaded, but definitely this does appeal to a certain demographic. The carbohydrates here are 251 grams for every 50 grams of protein. So it is a one to five ratio of protein to carbs. Some people consider that a bit high, others don't at all. It really depends on your individual needs. But if that's something you like, let's take it mass. I think it's a pretty interesting addition to the market. Now, Jim Mass is gonna take the cake for the tastiest mass scanner, in my opinion. This is the apple fritter flavor, but generally, Jim is pretty well known for coming up with very tasty flavors. But it's also got some other things in there that I think a lot of people are gonna find interesting. It's just a one-to-one -one ratio of protein to carbohydrates, but the protein comes from whey and casein and milk and egg protein, with the idea being that they all digest at different rates. So you're gonna have like a quick influx of amino acids at the beginning from the whey, but you're also gonna get a slower release of amino acids over time with the casein, and the egg is like a medium digesting protein. So that's really important to a lot of people to have like that slower, uh, longer term release of amino acids. Also, some of the carbohydrates do not come from your standard sources. Like there's a good amount of pea starch in here. There's some oats as well. There's some isomaltulose and all of these also digest at different speeds. So the whole thing with Jim, besides being pretty tasty is that it digests at a different rate than a lot of its competitors. Potential downside is that it is pretty expensive, but you know, you may find that price worth it. Now the name of the game with bodybuilding.com's signature mass gainer is digestion. This product contains a particular type of probiotic bacteria, which has been found to be like better able to survive manufacturing processes. It's better able to survive during a long shelf life, stuff like that. And also there's some evidence that has found this particular patented type of bacterium is able to enhance recovery from exercise. This is pretty interesting. There's a lot of hype in the scientific community around the potential benefits of probiotics. If that's something that interests you, you're gonna be pretty interested in this. In addition to that, this is made with a few different types of protein including whey and casein and egg whites, not totally different to gym. Plus it is remarkably inexpensive. So especially if you're into probiotic bacteria, but even if you're not, this is a pretty interesting option. 
All right, so those are my thoughts on the seven best mass gainers on the market. But if you wanna check out my full written review, which is very good and has a bunch of studies and will help you to be more informed so you can make the right decision for you, just make sure you Google the full roundup with Barbend Best Mass Gainers.